Now, what I'd like to talk to you about today is micro locks, sister locks. Not the difference. There's no conversation about how different it is or, or which is better than the other. Good evening, good evening. It's been a while since we've had a conversation without me having my hands in my hair. And it looks like we're not gonna have a conversation without me touching my hair. But I wanted to just talk with you for a little bit, have a conversation, give some tips. But before I do that, I'd like to thank my subscribers. Thank you so much for just always supporting me and this channel. To me, you show up and you show out. I love our interaction and I thank God for you. And if you are one of those people that have not subscribed to this channel yet, come on. I want to know why you're waiting. Come on and join the Gene G family. There's always an open invitation for you to join. Click the subscribe button and the notification bell so you will know every time I upload a video. Now, what I'd like to talk to you about today is micro locks, sister locks, not the difference there's no conversation about how different it is or, or which is better than the other. Today's conversation is just about caring for your locks, especially for those that are DIY people. You take care of your own locks. Some of you may have started or established your own micro locks. And I'm going to start with that my first tip to you is if you're going to establish your own micro locks make sure that the number of locks that you place in your head are manageable a lot of us want a lot of locks we feel that the more locks we have the the better it is but think about that when it's time to retighten your locks a lot of people think that I have over 500 locks, and that's not the case. I have a little less than 425 locks. But because of my hair texture and my hair type, I have this fullness. So, number one, make sure that the locks in your hair are manageable if you are going to do it yourself. Number two, when it comes to retightening your hair, establish a timeline. Establish when you are going to maintain your locks. I would suggest every four to eight weeks. It all depends on how fast your hair grows. Pay attention to it and decide if four or more weeks is better for you and then stick to it in order to maintain strong healthy locks. I also for number three I encourage you to wash your locks. There are those that wash their locks like once a month or they stretch it out even further. But I'm going to make this suggestion to you for the beginning of your locks. That you shampoo your locks often. Shampooing or washing your locks encourages your hair to, to mat and to mature. It also helps to keep your scalp and your pores, your locks clean and free from buildup. Especially if you are using products. 
you need to shampoo your hair more often. Hair grows in a clean, healthy scalp. Number four, when retightening your hair, position that tool midway between your locks. Midway, that gives your locks balance. You will maintain strength on both sides. If you go to the left or to the right, you are decreasing the amount of strands that are on a side of your lock, which means that you will be weakening your lock. So try to stay midway for balance and for strength. And number five, I think I'm at number five. Yes, number five. If you are going to avoid holes, let's try to avoid those holes. I want you to make sure that when you position your tool midway, that you take your tool up to the beginning of the new growth before pulling your strands through. That will ensure that you will not have gaps or holes in your lock. And the last one, and I think this is number six, the last one. Do not, do not compare, do not compare your growth to others. That can be discouraging for you. So I will suggest that you think about just like your hair looks different from mine, just like your hair does not feel like mine, just like your hair have different textures from others, your growth will not be the same. So don't compare. But what I suggest you do is take lots of pictures. Take lots of pictures so you can see that your hair is growing even when you think it's not. Now, I hope that I have shared something with you today that will be helpful during your lock journey. I hope that there's something I've shared with you today that will be helpful in you making sure that you maintain healthy locks. This is a sister who loves her locks. I love my friends, my family, my subscribers, and my followers. But I especially love God because he's been so good to me. He provides me with clean air to breathe. I wake up every morning and I thank him for rising with my health and my strength. And I thank him for all that he's doing in my life that I can share with others to encourage them to realize that it is God's grace and his mercy that has you achieving, moving, and leveling up to where God have you to be. Have a great day. Enjoy your day.